In this video, we are going to check out how to use Google Forms as a student. You'll most likely access Google Forms through an assignment in Google Classroom or an assignment in Seesaw or through a link directly from your teacher. Once you've opened up your Google Form, it will look something like this. It may be collecting your email address at the top. You can also see a description of what the form is asking of you, which you should check out at the top. The very first question will probably ask you for your first and last name, and then you can go through and start answering the questions. There are different answer types like multiple choice or short answer. And as you go through, you can click through and type through the different um, answers. So there's also check boxes. That's this uh, question type here where you can choose multiple correct answers. With multiple choice, you can only choose one correct answer, but with check boxes, you can select more than one. So you can see here with multiple choice, we can only uh, choose one answer. And then uh, the next option, you can see there are pictures as our answers that we can choose from. You may have a Google form that has a picture as part of the question where you'll be looking for something in the picture. There's also a chance that your Google form might have a video for you to watch and answer questions about the video. So if there's a picture as part of the answer, you can either click on the picture or select the letter to choose that as your answer. There's also paragraph or long answers that you can type in that are complete sentences like this last option here. One of the things that you'll want to be very careful about in Google Forms is make sure that your entire Google Form is complete before you click that submit button. Sometimes a Google Form is limited to only one response, so you'll definitely want to make sure that it is fully complete before you click submit. If your teacher has set it up so that you can see your responses after you have clicked submit, you can click that view accuracy button and you'll be able to see what you got correct and what you got um, wrong on your quiz. Some of the answers like that last one might show as incorrect even though um, it might be right, but the teacher hasn't yet graded it. So you will want to wait and see your complete score in Google Classroom or via email. That is how you um, use Google Forms and submit a quiz using Google Forms as a student.